If you find that knowing how an effect was achieved ruins the effect, then don't watch this video, because this video is a little compilation of some of the techniques I've been using to make my film. These techniques are all very lo-fi and quite traditional in many ways, generally being achieved photographically in real space without the aid of software. For example, against projected backgrounds, when the actor sits forward between two chairs with a windscreen taped to the front of it and a hairdryer attached to its arm, it creates an effect something like this. Helmet with a makeshift visor behind the same windscreen and back projection creates the effect of other pursuing cyclists. Models with torches taped behind the windscreens provides their vehicles. Cut out some silhouettes, make sure the helmets are on tripods that can swivel, and now they can react. His name is nothing to you. These elements, when reshot on screens observed by other characters, completes the ensemble. The same chair setup, combined with lens flaring, can create a very different effect when you darken the room and move the camera towards the actor. This is the entire lighting setup used for this film. Generally simply shown onto the actors faces. And this is the entire lighting setup and sound recording equipment for any sync dialogue scenes. He has no idea how to make use of me. Mats are a very simple old technique not often applied physically anymore. But you can just take your original footage, print it out and cut a hole in it, shine a torch through the back of it and overlap them in your editor. And throw in the occasional green screen shot for variety. But make sure it's all well filled out with collages of actual location shots and more back projection. Creating the effect of blue skin on some characters is also easily achieved during shooting. Simply film the actors without makeup or elaborate lighting. But when filming the actors as are intended to be blue, invert the colours of their background projection, and when the overall shot is inverted, the background returns to the original colours of the other shots, but the natural skin tones of the actor shifts to the blue end of the spectrum. No elaborate makeup or software required. This colour inversion can be applied to more dynamic shots if the inversion is compensated for with the original background projection. I hope you found this little compilation interesting and I hope to be able to show you more of the film very soon.